In Project Explorer version 2, we have introduced support for violation highlighting in the user interface, and this can be used to draw our attention to areas of the model which may not meet our design intentions. Here's an example of a violation. In this case, the violation is indicating to us that the start station or chainage of this layout profile is falling beyond the station range of the associated alignment. Another example under corridors. Here we have a violation which indicates to us that the point code being used by this corridor feature line does not exist in the reference code set style. For pipe networks we look directly into the rule sets to be able to instantly display violations such as the pipe drop being violated across this structure, or the elevation of the rim of this structure not matching the reference surface. Over here with pipes we can see that we have pipe cover being violated, and in this case we have the pipe cover and the pipe length being violated. In conjunction with the editing functionality in Project Explorer it's now very easy to address these violations. For example if I filter this list of pipes so that I'm only looking at the pipes connected to the violated structure I can address this pipe drop violation. Let's look at this pipe and go across to the end elevation of the pipe which we can see is significantly lower than the other pipes that are connected to this structure. So let's double click that value, hold the slope of the pipe and adjust this invert level of the pipe. And now we can see that we have solved that violation.